Joshua asked, How do you make friends in the webcomic scene when you're starting out? Like I've said before, I'm very shy, especially online. I'm super afraid. I'm super afraid of sending people messages online. I don't know why. It's very irrational. Okay, I have some inklings why, but anyways. <laughs> now, I've been incredibly lucky to meet people who are much more outgoing than me in this industry. <laughs> like, I've had so many wonderful creators walk into my life and approach me, and I'm I'm so grateful for it. Like, if you're a really outgoing person who's, like, friendly and seeking out front new friends all the time, like, you're the best. I admire that so much. You rock. You. <laughs> so I guess there are two ways that I've made friends in webcomics. One, it's usually we've, we like each other's comics and we've ended up following each other um, or reading each other's comics for a long time and then or reaching out to each other, whether it's like through following on social media or like leaving comments or whatever. I've met a ton of people this way. Tons of friends. Because basically what happened for me was after posting Pretty Mouth and hanging out in the LGBT comic sphere, like I'd follow people and read their comics and follow them on social media. And then at some point they'd reach out to me or follow me back and be like, oh my god, I read Pretty Mouth or I read Pretty Mouth. And it happened a lot. It was pretty crazy. <laughs> um, just the amount of people who were like, oh, I know your comic. And it's like, what? You've heard of me? Ah, but yeah, I've, I've met a lot of cool people that way. Every once in a while, I'll have someone reach out to me and be like, oh, I like your comic, and then I'll go and find out they have a comic and become obsessed with it, and then we become friends. Like, it's a lot of just reaching out to people and being a part of the community. And I've done most of it just online, not having to go out anywhere, just hanging out on Twitter and Tumblr and webcomic sites. Yeah, you don't even have to leave your room. There you go. You can make buddy friends. I've also made friends through those friends. Like, um, I started a critique group, um, a amongst, like, a bunch of comic friends of mine. Um, and a lot of them came on and said, like, oh, can I invite my friend to join our critique group? And I'm like, yeah, of course. And then I made friends that way. Basically, once you start making one connection, you're gonna make lots. So just reach out to lots of people, be friendly, how you normally make friends. <laughs> The other way that I've made a lot of awesome friends uh, is by going to conventions and meeting people in person. So a lot of the time I'll have a table at a con and like someone will come up and start talking and talk webcomics with me and either they have a comic or they want to start one and we'll talk about it and we exchange like, you know, social media and stuff. And then, you know, we would meet at the next con. We would talk more um, and we would basically meet up every year or several times in a year because we all go to the same cons because we live in the same area-ish. And then we just start hanging out more and talking online. I've met tons of other creators and artists, not just like comic artists, but illustrators this way. And last year I decided to start going to more like meetups after conventions uh, to meet people in the industry. And that's worked out. I've met lots of really cool people that way. And basically the same thing. You meet them, you talk about comics, you exchange Twitter handles, and then you just talk to them for the rest of the year. It's pretty great. Ursula explains friendship. Ugh. Now I say this like it's all super easy. In a lot of ways, these opportunities have just fallen in my lap. It's like pure luck that I've met all these amazing people who want to stick with me. Like how, how wonderful is that? It's pretty wonderful. <laughs> I have a feeling you're gonna have the same experiences if you start reaching out in the community because there's so many wonderful people who make comics um, and we're all, it's such a small community too. Like it's big but it's also small. So like, you know, everyone wants to make more friends in the community and make it stronger and stronger. Anyways, so a lot of this comes down to luck um, and it's not really great advice to say like just wait until someone walks into your life. So I think it's important to just be prepared for when that person walks into your life. So how do you do that? Well, number one, post your work up somewhere, um, whether it's illustration, whether it's starting your comic, get your work out there. People are going to start noticing you through that. Be friendly and supportive to other people in the community, you know, read people's work, buy their stuff, whatever, whatever it is you can do. Just be... Be, be the wonderful person you are. Go to conventions, whether you're an attendee or you have a table there. Just go talk to people. They're such a great networking tool. And reach out to artists who start their comics around the same time as you. Like, it's very important to create bonds 
early, I guess. Like, um, because you both have the common ground of, like, you're new to the community and, you know, you're figuring this webcomic stuff out if it's your first comic. So, like, just go say hi and be welcoming and friendly and you're going to make some friends who are going to stick with you for a long time. So, yeah, that's my advice for making friends in webcomics. I hope that helps. I know most of the advice was just shrugging, like, eh, it just kind of happens. But yeah. Because even as a shy person who, like, I'm very bad at reaching out as the initial, like, the, you know, I'm, I'm bad at being the first person to, like, reach out and make contact with people. So, like, I've made friends here being the shy person. So you're going to make friends too, even if you're shy. Trust me. Thank you so much for listening. If you have any questions or if you'd like to submit a video topic, please leave a comment down below. I'll be answering all the art questions and bones way until it's a bit bit papa. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.